Hey, what's up all you charged up battery nerds? On this episode of Alan's Inventions, I'm going to be doing a product review on this 18650 cell battery bank holder that I found on eBay. Uh, this holds 12 18650 cells and has a variable output from 12 to 24 volts as well as a fast USB output, uh, output port. Um, it's supposed to be USB 3.0 fast charging compatible, so I'm going to test that as well and then see what kind of things I can power off the 12 volt um, uh, output jack. So I do have another program in mind that, I'm, that I actually bought this for. Um, I'll tell you more about that at the end, but I will be demonstrating what things you can power with it as well as um, testing the fast charging uh, capability. So let's get started. Alright, so this really was just held together with clips and the only thing holding the body and the LCD screen was that JST connector. Looking at the board, you can see how the uh, cells are grouped together uh, with that 1, 2, and 3. So it makes me think it's either 3S1P or a 4S1P. Um, doesn't, it does include a BMS and charging circuit as well as a, a potentiometer here to adjust your uh, output voltage. It's anywhere from 12 to 24 volts at 60 watts max. Your USB ports and then DC jacks for your input and output to charge it. Okay, so the first thing I had to do to get this thing going was actually load it up with some 18650 batteries. I actually salvaged these from a bunch of old power tools. You can also find them in old laptop batteries and really anything that requires a lot of current. Uh, these batteries get their name from their diameter and length, which is 18 millimeters wide by 65 millimeters long. Uh, here you can see that I'm, as I'm inserting them, I'm just making sure that there isn't a lot of heat being created. I don't want these cells uh, burning the whole thing up before I can even power it on. Now, one thing I did notice was that after inserting all the batteries into it and trying to hit the on-off switch, it just wouldn't come on. I had to go back and look at the instructions, and actually it says that you're supposed to hit this button down here to activate the power bank, which is kind of odd. So, anyways, after that, it powered right on. You can see the voltage readout. So, in this case, it was upside down, but then it was 12.2 volts. Uh, you can see the three status LEDs right below it. So, there's a fully charged... Uh, two bars left and one bar left. Um, so then let me finish putting this thing together. It's actually really easy to assemble. The lids kind of slide off and slide on and at the center of the whole power bank there's a little clip where the two covers clip together and kind of hold itself in place. Now that it's fully assembled here you can actually here let me show you guys but here's two other battery banks that I have. Uh, these are also 20,000 and 22,000 uh, milliamp hours each I believe. However, as you can see here, um, these do not have the DC output or input jacks like this one does, or the voltage readout, which makes it a little bit more versatile if you want to use them, for example, with like an RV or a solar uh, charging system. All right, and then after that, the first test I did was using one of these USB power meters. I wanted to see if it was really QC 3.0 compatible and if my phone would recognize it as fast charging. I know that's a different spec, but the some listings call that fast charging and that in this case this one did um, so after plugging it in um, it does charge my phone and hang on a second it should come up right now there we go see it's charging my phone at 5 volts and 1.5 amps uh, according to the listing for on eBay this should be able to charge up to 9 volts but I've just uh, been unsuccessful in getting that to work. Uh, it may be the USB tester, I'm not sure, so I'll have to do some more digging on that to see if I can actually get it to charge um, at the 9 volts. I did forget to mention that the battery bank did include a bunch of these laptop uh, charging cable adapters, so in theory you should be able to charge your laptop as well. And I only say in theory just because some laptops now have USB Type-C plugs on them and those require the 12 volts. 
So here's what I'm going to be using with this power bank. I actually have a couple different peripherals. I'm going to be powering off this. Uh, it's a lot of uh, low voltage things, a couple of Arduinos. Uh, there's going to be an LED strip. And I'm trying to debate on how I'm going to hook up this stereo as well. Uh, I'll show you more of that later in this video. But yeah, this is going to be the control panel. Uh, and I'm going to wire two of these batteries up to it as well as a selector for battery one or battery two. Here you can see that this, in fact, can power this LED strip. And my goal is going to be to power this stereo along with it. Uh, but before I do that, guys, I'm going to kindly ask if you could please drop a like uh, and hit the, uh, the subscribe button down below uh, so I can continue making these videos for you guys. At least it lets me know that people are watching them and I can continue building the projects that I'm working on. Um, so again, if you could hit the like and subscribe and drop a comment down below, I'll be happy to answer any questions for you guys. Thank you. And now back to our regularly scheduled video. I'm still debating if this is going to be the stereo that I'm going to use for the bigger project that I'm working on. Uh, but if I do, I'm going to have to find a way to supplement the power. Uh, this power bank's not going to cut it. It's only rated for 60 watts. And this stereo is rated for 200 watts, 50 watts per output. I have to do some math to figure out how much it's going to really draw on the input. Um, but I, you know, that's a fire hazard if you wire it up that way. Something's going to burn out eventually. So for now, um, i got to keep researching power banks and maybe find other stereos or something that still has good quality output and um, is pretty loud, you know, something for like a party. So anyways, again, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah.